Hello there, Space Wizards, Plastic Spacemen, and Rebel Princesses. This is Todd Hoffman and Trent Hoffman. You're listening to Big T and Little T, a Star Wars podcast. Welcome to episode 123. Today, it's jam-packed. Jam-packed. We got, we got two episodes to cover. We are going to be talking about episode 9 and episode 10 of Andor. Unfortunately, my little buddy Trent can't join me today, but he's here in four spirits. Um, please catch us out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash big T little T playing some Fortnite, just enjoying Fortnite, the big old star Wars week, uh, this last week, um, another week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago. Ah, man, it was great. Lightsabers, E11s, pulse rifles, junk rifts with land speeders. It was all right there. We had a great week uh, playing that. And then, uh, yeah, we're just trying to get through uh, this season with Chrome. There's a lot of Chrome going on, affecting Fortnite, all this fun stuff. It's great. So check it out, forward slash Big T Little D uh, on Twitch. There you go. Um Hey, you know, just want to throw this out there. I know, uh, you know, we try to keep it a little light, a little fun here on Big T, Little T, but just want to let everybody know, hey, you are loved. Uh, big, big thing going on, obviously, this month is mental health, uh, mental health awareness. Um, and, you know, with the, uh, the new number for suicide prevention, just want to throw that out there, man. Uh, 988 uh, is the new number. Um, you know, you know, it might seem impossible. You might think uh, things are not looking good, but know that you're loved. I know sometimes you feel like you're alone and it's isolated, but there's things in life that people go through that um, you might not know, but and they might be struggling with the same thing. Um, but, you know, again, if you are in a desperate spot, definitely 988 is definitely where to go. Um, you know, I, you know, for me uh, and Trent, we believe in a higher power, and that's Jesus Christ. And you know, I just can't say it enough. Like God loves you. There, you know, and sometimes I understand uh, you've been through some stuff. Get it? Religion might not be your thing, but that's kind of where it's not kind of. It is where Trent and I get our hope from. Uh, our whole family believes in that, and know that you're just loved. I mean. Um, I know God's real in my life because of crazy things that's happened in my life that can only be explained by something bigger than myself um, and not definitely on my own. And so uh, that's where I draw my hope on. And, you know, I, you know, we talked about this before. Star Wars has a lot of parallels uh, in real life and draws from different religions, obviously from, from a Jedi perspective and Sith and all that. But, um, you know, there's bigger things in Star Wars. I know that's hard to believe, but there are. And, uh, you know, can't do it without friends and family. And, uh, you know, my my belief. And, yeah, just know that you're loved. And happy to talk about that more. But, yeah, it's just something that, uh, as we were talking about mental health, and just it, it's good to take time for yourself and get it reconnected. And, uh, you know, take care of your body and take care of your mental and spiritual stuff all that kind of stuff it all it all it all means something it all happens for a reason and uh you know you need to um get that checked every once in a while as far as just all three phases there and uh just yeah just want to throw that out there but uh oh my gosh we had grogu and the dust bunnies just show up on disney plus that was a little four minute uh uh, short from Studio Studio Ghibli, uh, they're a, a very renowned animation studio. And in fact, this was a leak. Now you know the Italians over there and Disney Plus, they leaked this out a couple weeks ago. I saw it on Star Wars leaks. I'm like, Star uh, Grogu and the Bus- Dust Bunnies. That's got to be a fake thing. Nope, that's the real title. Actually, it's like Zen Grogu and the Dust Bunnies. Super fun short. I mean, it's only four minutes long. It's great. Music's great. Animation's great. It's fun. Check it out. Cartoons are great. Um, we just came back from Wakanda Forever, uh, Black Panther 2. Uh, wow. Really good. 
since it just came out, I'm not going to do a spoiler review, but I'm just going to say vengeance is not the key. There you go. That's it. But yeah, super great flick. We had a great time watching that as a family. I am literally a sucker for popcorn and pop. Like that is like the Achilles heel for me. It's like I'm just in my Zen spot. It's been called Zen and Grogu. Tying it all together here, popcorn and pop. That's it right there. Yes, Midwest thing. We call it pop. That's what it is. It is. So anyways, uh, all right. We're off a week. A lot of things going on, but uh, everything is going in the right direction. And so we are doing two back-to-backs. Here we go. We're just going to apply, uh, kind of not fly through them because they're both really, really good. Uh, and really great themes, again, really great themes in Star Wars, and Andor is just nailing it. But let's take a look at Episode 9, Nobody's Listening, okay? So this is directed by Toby Haynes and written by Bew Willman? Am I saying that right? Bew? Like Amp Brew or something? Um, okay. Uh, so official description, under intense scrutiny while in prison, Cassian makes allies plans for impossible escape. What? Uh, Miro, again, we were cheering for her. We're like, yeah, Miro, you gotta, you know, fight the man and fight the system and get, get what you need. And it, but she wants the same thing. She just wants power and be recognized. And so poor Bex. So, uh, we got this fun doctor, ghost he's very chipper for imperial doctor i was seriously thinking was thought we're gonna see some interrogation droids and again their set design is awesome they got these cameras in this interrogation room they got like uh, i think it's like eight cameras it's just the same cameras that they use in the detention center and the death star this attention to detail is fantastic but anyways uh it kind of goes on about um threatening bix if you don't tell me what's going on and we um we see miro just really diving into bix and just saying okay this is what i know i know what's going on we track the radio hit we know about the the hidden station with pack and again we see pack come out and he's just not in a good spot i really thought we we're gonna see and the interrogation droid but we didn't but that's okay um and so we um essentially i don't know i forget what species they say but they they found the doctor just kind of goes into this whole thing about um hey we know these species and they and all these scientists got mad and we uh you know kind of fine-tuned it and basically makes the people go crazy great stuff here so bix is like oh i'm in i'm in trouble here uh i mean Miro spells it out like hey i know that you've had at least six meetings with the spire we know what's going on um you know and so and so basically says bix is like still playing it hard which i really really am I'm impressed but she doesn't want anything to do with it um and then we go back to andor and they're just kind of assembling pieces uh assembling the pieces and um you know so they're but we also see uh andor going to the refresher we get to see a star wars toilet love it great awesome uh, but he pops a panel and it's like cutting this pipe and so there's uh things that are going on sooner that you know like there's something else happening here that they take little shifts to do that um so they you know they continue to watch uh there so there's like uh, a pause and there's some communication going between the floors and what's going on with level two and something's wrong and uh Andy Circus is the man. He is the man. He's so good. He's like, you're just making all this stuff up. Like, why are you getting all working about level two? It were all these different floors. How can you know that something was going on in level two? Uh, yeah, he just going crazy. Uh, but essentially, um, like there, there is news that a hundred men got electrocuted on level two and so they kind of just said oh yeah we're talking about the stuff and he's like you're just making this up you know uh so so we also have this one i think it's 
Olaf is his name, not the confused with Olaf, but he's the older gentleman in the crew, and he's really just having some problems keeping up. He's not feeling very well. Uh, we flash back to Ferex and, um, and and essentially, you know, our, our good Dr. Gross here says that there's a massacre on Dizzy Nights or whatever, and the aliens make a like a agonizing sound when they die they perfected it and uh have this virtual headset for dicks and put it on and yeah it's not cool here's a fun little twist so uh we get this kind of news that moth is moth mon mothma's cousins in town she seems a little surprised she gets back to uh the trend her house and wouldn't you know it's vel what didn't see this coming vel is cassie or math mon mothma's cousin uh she gets a dress for lida uh which is fun um and they kind of talk business 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 um but basically both vel and mon mothma are hey we're in this together there's bigger fights uh okay so Miro kind of goes back to report with the ISB. Uh, we're talking about things, and she's kind of push, putting things together. Um, and the, she thinks there's a connection between the heist that happened on Aldani and then the ambush on Ferex. Um, and, yeah, it, it's, it's happening. It, it's getting close. Then our boy Cyril, uh, Cyril, I call him Cyril, it's not Cyril, Cyril. it's Cyril's or S Cyril, um, he's like totally stalking Miro, weird, but that's okay, um, and he, he basically is like, hey mom, stop going through my stuff, he's like, what's going on, but yeah, so she's like, hey, I know things are happening, he got a promotion, but then he's obsessed with uh, making an appearance with uh, Miro, and Miro's like, look, back off. If you do this again, I know he's trying to say we're cut from the same cord, but Miro's like, you're a little weird, dude. So why don't you just back off? And he's like, I don't know if I can do it. Um, so then, uh, so banker dude uh, at Colma, Tay Colma, saying, hey, you know, things are getting tighter. We need help. And we might have to get it from some shady, shady business to help with us. Uh, he name drops Davo Skulladin, um, and he can make it happen. And so he's just saying there's loopholes, but we can't do what we need to do to get this money where you're at. Um, so then, uh, we we kind of go through let's see Olaf passes so Olaf is not very very good he's just they're trying to keep him stand up and they get him through after the shift's over they get him into the tunnels where we see the two the night and day shift shift uh changing guards basically and um yeah he unfortunately the doctor gets there he has a stroke, a bad stroke, and says his vitals are not good, and he's going to put him down. Then there's some discussion about, well, we're, it doesn't matter. We're not getting out. And he's like, what What do you mean? So now Kino is hearing this, and he's like, listen, they let somebody out and uh, release somebody from level four, put him on level two the following day, Word got out and they killed them all. What? That is crazy. And so now Andor's pressing Loy and basically saying, okay, see what I'm talking about here? And he, he's been asking this kind of running theme um, in this episode. He's like trying to get Loy on board and he's not but then finally this question comes up uh, a couple times but he basically asks, asks how many guards are on this on each level and Loy kind of spills a bean as in he's just like 12 guards what so it's kind of interesting and it makes sense from an imperial perspective very efficient 
uh, we have the floors as a deterrent, as obviously when Andor entered, you got three levels, and first level will knock your socks off, get electrocuted. But in order to maintain this with little personnel, that's the threat, the, the electricity, right? But there's only 12 guys or 12, 12 Imperials to whatever, the 100 men on each of the shifts. So, yeah, it's not very well um, uh, as far as like Imperial enforcements, but um, it is it's efficient. But again, from um, how can I put it like it's just not well protected let's just put it that way so here there you have it that was episode nine great stuff awesome uh there the no one's listening is another thing that the 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 title is said in the in in the episode where uh you know andor's trying to convince uh loy like hey we need to do something and he's like he he's trying to run it by the book and literally Cassian's like, no one's listening. No one cares about us. It's just, it doesn't happen. They're, they're, they don't, they don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. And so there was definitely a disagreement in the cells, but there you have it. That is episode nine. Okay. Moving on to episode 10. Oh my gosh. What? Finally, again, Andor, super slow burn. That's fine. This is great. 10, you understand uh, the cost of the revolution. And here we go. We got episode 10, which is no way or one way out. Not no way out. One way out. Here we go. So uh, this is the 10th episode. Again, directed by Toby Haynes, written by Buell, Buell, Will, Willman. I'm, I'm so bad. I don't know. Uh, so we know Kino's in. He's in. So here we go. Official description. Rare opportunity opens and the time for Cassie and his fellow inmates is to act now. What the heck? Uh, all right. So um, when they get back to the cell, they ask, obviously, where Olaf is. Not Olaf. Olaf. Olaf is. Um, he passed away. And then Andor basically makes you know like say say what happens and um and he finally says okay they fried everybody on two and it's like what the heck so now we kind of go back back to Deidre and Miro and um that we also see um let's see what happens oh she convinces um our uh, Jung and Major Partegas that should not wait, but we have to make their presence felt. And um, about a, they found or intercepted like an Imperial um, pilot, if you will. And they want to make sure that they fake and stage it so they can get closer to um try to get closer to the kind of how can i put it it's just a way that they can figure out how to get closer to the rebels it's another kind of cell that they, they found out that this this place and came back came came from and so they're trying to get the rebel pilot so that's already kind of put in motion um and so then we also kind of go to the uh mon mothma we get to meet the banker and this Devo guy, he I thought he was gonna be like some alien dude, but he's a regular dude, straight up from the 1970s. Great look for him. Um, and his proposal is to kind of take the Trangilla. Uh, tra 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 <laughs> Why is Star Wars name so hard? Oh my gosh, Trangillan. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Where they get married really young. He's like, yo, I got a boy who's 14 and lita is like 13 all my all my all, all i'm asking is that we make an introduction and mon mothma is like mortified and she's like why would you want to do that and you know type type thing and basically can't even finish his drink and he's like we're done wow that was a lot there and then um so Kino just kind of says, hey, he basically rallies the troops and is like, if we're going to do it, today's the day. Uh, and so they kind of just kind of talk through 
a little bit of what they're going to do uh, and they understand like, hey, we got to take these two on the platform when they bring a new person, a prisoner in. And they really said the time is to strike now. If the prisoner, uh, you know, new one comes in, we have to do it. And so um, they start grabbing some weapons. But what essentially happens is Cassian goes back to the refresher, under, able to cut the pipe. It's like water that's coming from uh, basically the refresher is now spilling on the floor. Uh, they lose a little power and the f unit 52D starts the revolution. And unfortunately there are some casualties right away. Uh, one of the units, uh, one of the guys uh, gets overcome by the, the, sh the shooting, but they all take weapons and they get the guys off the scaffolding and uh, and then they tell, um, you know, to nuke the floor, but there's water going to the floor. So they all jump on the table. Uh, and really what we get is really the great escape here. So everyone, uh, they, uh, there's flooding and now there's people shouting and the Imperials are getting word that something's going on on level five, what's happening. And, and so they, they basically overcome the the barracks there right or that kind of checkpoint area and they get some blasters and then it's like let's just keep on going to level eight so they go from level five to level eight obviously lots of stairs get their get the cardio in and um and then basically uh yeah they take over and it's great fantastic um Let's see what else is happening. Oh, the, so that's happening. Then we get, uh, then we get, we go back to Luthen, and Luthen is meets um, the double agent that is in the ISB. Jung is his name, and he's just like, "Hey, they're putting this together." And Luthen's like, "Don't be scared. It's okay. We're gonna make it happen." Uh, and they, and they basically talk about. You know, Jung's like, hey, they captured the rebel pilot, running supplies for Kieger, and explains they turned him in immediately, staged an accident. The Emperor is also aware of Kieger's plan to raid the power station and self, self spell a loss or something. And and he and and Jung is like, we gotta stop them because if they do this raid, they're gonna get slaughtered. And and Luthen's like, that's the cost of this thing. Luthen has a couple great lines in this dialogue. This this dialogue is so rich of good stuff. Um, and it just kind of talks about sacrifice and what are you sacrificing? And Luthen understands like being this double agent is not easy for Jung. Um, and then, but he just like, hey, I'm also losing stuff. I know that I won't see this to end. Like this is gonna take a while, but we have to make these steps. And you realize like, again, staging this rebe rebellion, going to get something bigger than you are takes a lot of work and a lot of people and sometimes you won't see the end um yeah it's crazy crazy it's uh, a big theme um we see this uh in the bible too moses in the promised land he never gets to really see it then then they complain about god's vision and and where they need to go because of like uh, it's great but there's giants there and so uh, he's like, okay, well, guess what? You're going to be wandering the desert for 40 years because you complain because you don't believe in me. Uh, but yeah, your descendants will see the promised land. And so that's some very similar where it's like, okay, we know that we have to take down the empire. Empire is bad. Empire is evil. But then, uh, you know, it takes a lot of sacrifice and there's a lot of things on the line for individuals that are going against the system and even like these double agents like Luthen's playing and Jung's playing, it's a big, big deal. Um, so yeah, you know, and Jung's got a baby and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy. But uh, yeah, so we have that thing. Um, so then we go back to um, the, the kind of revolts uh, and... and 
Oh man, it's so good. So Andor knows, this is another good thing about like leadership with Andor. Andor knows that people will listen to, um, uh, lo, you know, Kino and basically Kino gives this little speech like, Hey, I'm, you know, the supervisor on 5-2-D. This is what happened. The time is now band together with us brothers let's get out of here there's this great so they get all the way to the top and they really don't have like a transport to take or anything like that they just jump off and they got to jump off and swim and here's the heartbreaking thing kino can't swim and so cassian kind of gets swept up him and uh melshi kind of jump into the water and then we there's a quick shot of melshi like and and cassian kind of like getting on land but then we see all these people jump and Kino's left, you know, Kino's there. Oh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. But that's how it ends. Um, yeah, at least we know that Ander and Melshi make it and it's great. But yeah, we got such good dialogue here. Um, it's just fun. This is a fun one. So yeah, so now we finally get through the prison escape. So that, that was a big chunk. So now... We only got like two episodes left, 11 and 12. Why? Why? But it, it's happening. It's happening. So, um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So I'm. Yeah, I'm just interested what these next two are going to be about. I wonder if we're going to see a little bit more Bix, a little bit more Luthen, Mon Mothma. Is that deal going to go through? Um, is Cassian going to hook up with Luthen or is this whole thing with like Val and searching to kill Cassian? Is that going to play out? Like what's happening? What is happening? Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it should be good. It should be real good. So that, that is where you leave off with episode 10. So tune in next week for episode 11, but yeah, it, it should be fun. Um, so there you have it guys. So, okay. So I know, you know, we, we finished off um, uh, what's happening when, and now we're caught up. So we're kind of looking at, I was doing something fun with the numbers because Star Wars and numbers, you know, going back, like looking back, and now we're already caught up. So there isn't new news for 2023 yet because it hasn't happened. But uh, so I'm going to, going to, uh, Cassian inspired, uh, light it all up. We're going to do some trivia here. So this one is super simple uh all you got to do is email in the answer at big t little t at gmail.com we'll send you out some swag super simple so we're going to do it real easy this week i think i hope might take, have to take some research i don't know but whoever gets the right answer for this first one in and we'll we'll announce it next week or whatever we'll kind of keep it going so uh okay so our man surreal and his mom love he loves some cereal what real world cereal did they use for surreal cereal that's the question send in your answer at big t little t at podcast.com uh we'll give it till the um next episode so i will pick the winner by sunday the 20th let's just put it that way by sunday the 20th noon by sunday the 20th hopefully we get an answer before then well, there you have it. Sunday 20th, get it in. Boom. I'll pick the first answer that's correct. Um, and there you have it. Uh, so, yeah, big T, little t at gmail.com. That's it. That's the question. There you go. Boom. All right. And that's where you got to put the answer. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, thanks again, Space Wizards, Plastic Spacemen, and Rubble Princesses. And princesses? Prince? Princesses? Yes, princesses for listening to another episode of Big T and Little T, a Star Wars podcast. Hey, you can find us on the socials, Big T, Little T on Instagram, B-L-I-L-T, podcast on Twitter. Uh, where are we at? Oh, yeah, twitch.tv forward slash Big T, Little T uh, is where you can find all that fun stuff. Uh, again, we got stickers. We got things. You can do that if you answer the trivia. But also, if you want to you know, give us a five-star rating, rate us on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, show it, throw us a screenshot, and or you give us a comment or something like that, we'll read it on 
uh, the next week podcast at big T podcast at gmail.com. Or if you got a question or you got some statements, you got things to say about Andor, drop it to us and we would love to correspond and read some of those questions on our next episode. That's big T little podcast at gmail.com. Next time we meet Andor episode 11. Maybe we'll talk a little bit more about what kind of forever. I don't know. We got things. It's happening. It's coming up. Uh, so now truly remember the mind of the child is. No, not truly remember. Now remember truly wonderful the mind of the child is. And may the force be with you always. Bye, PC Feast. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Let's do this thing.